above the bus. It's interesting that the banner above the bus only says transfer to 75 because there's a lot of different bus routes that stop here. Uh, I'm on my way into Desert Sky Transit Center, which I've only ever been to once before, and that was a super awkward situation when I went there. Uh, it was during my brief fling with Crystal, and it was one of those times where I had I had massively overslept at her place. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure I vlogged. Please exit here. Last stop, please exit here. Um, I'm pretty sure I vlogged about it, but I don't think I shot any video when I was here. Um, I didn't really shoot a lot of video the whole time I was with Crystal. Um, not that that was a very long time or anything. But, uh, anyway, that's it. Outside. Doors there. Um, yeah, the last time I came here, I was just so deliriously tired <laughs> with with uh, with uh, with her. I didn't get a lot of sleep. Oh, there's 75 right there. Does it say where it's going to? Lower Bucca and 75th Avenue. Okay, that's my bus right there. Um, I'm not sure where, where it's going. I hope it's not leaving without me. That's definitely the bus I want. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Wow, it looks like the, the 29 West arrives just in time for me to not catch the 75 South. Y'all saw that. I stepped off the bus platform, saw the bus that says 75 South, leave the transit center. Oh, for fuck's sake, Valley Metro, that is not how transit centers are supposed to work. Oh wait, no, that's the 75 South. I need the 83 South. I mean, I guess I could use the 75 South. Sorry, I'm not used to this transit center at all. It looks like some of the, like they've got signs saying which, oh, I remember this from when I was here before, although it was dark then. So yeah, there's signs that say which, like big light up signs, like that's the 29 West. You know, it was a 29 East, but it becomes a 29 West here and 75 South, and what is that? 83 to Arrowhead Center. Okay, so that's 83 North. 75 South picks up there. 75 North picks up here. This is at least laid out like a transit center kind of should be. I mean, it has like, you know, drinking fountains and room to sit down and... Desert Sky Transit Center. No loitering, skateboarding, trespassing, soliciting weapons, or posting. Now, it's interesting that that one's sitting there with a thing that says 29 West, because the last time I came here, in order to catch the 29 West, it took me a while to figure it out. I had to walk through the transit center like this and come over here. Um, which is kind of kind of detached from the transit center. But I had to uh, I had to go to this stop. Wow, we got another down tree from the from the storm. Uh, I had to come over to this stop over here, which is a nice stop. It's decorated and stuff, but it's uh, as you can see, it's it's detached from the you know quite detached from the rest of the transit center, and it's right here along this noisy road, which is Thomas Road, um, and and it doesn't have it doesn't have a big sign you know big light up sign telling you. You know what what route is here although i do think this is one of those i don't know there's a bus stop sign over here ha huh. it's one of the few bus signs that actually has a sign saying 29 
E, so meaning 29 East. So yeah, at least at least one of the uh, most most Phoenix uh, bus stop signs no longer have the little tags on them that tell you what what route stops there. So at least that one has one that tells you it's the 29 E. So. They used to have those little stickers on every single bus stop. Uh, 79th Avenue and Thomas. Now, I mean, I guess I could just walk to work from here. Um, if I walk south on 79th Avenue here, uh, that next traffic light that you can see, you know, the red light off in the distance, that's 79th and McDowell. That's where I routinely, uh, you know, get off the... I-10 Rapid, of course, I, I long since missed the, you know, the last I-10 West Rapid bus. But yeah, that's where I get off the I-10 West Rapid bus. And I think I mentioned, like, when you see me in the morning and I'm shooting the video, uh, after I come out of Amazon, I'm like, oh, there goes my bus. And you see it headed northbound on 20, or on 19, um, you see it headed northbound on 79th Avenue. This is where it comes. That's where it's coming. It comes up to this transit center. And this is a park and ride. There's a bunch of parking adjacent to it. Um, and then... <laughs> I love the walkway we have here. Um, I, I hate how Phoenix has all these walls, these little low walls that separate like everything from the sidewalks. You know, things are disconnected to the sidewalks because this is a very hostile place to be a pedestrian in. But anyway, that bus comes up here and there's a parking right here as well. And people get on here. Uh, people can conceivably, you know, transfer to that rapid bus from these other local buses here. And then from, from there, it goes down to where I always pick it up at, at the park and ride on McDowell. Uh, so here's the 83, this is where the 83 South will pick up. Oh, and I do remember coming here that one time I was, when I tried to do this, you know, when I overslept at Crystal's place and I was trying to come to work. Um, yeah, I do remember coming over here and sitting in that bench for a while, <laughs> sitting on the, on the floor over there for a while because the bench was kind of uncomfortable. Um, and realizing, and, and if I remember the way it worked out when I came here, like I had just missed, like I had just, I, I, I got off the Thomas bus and I looked at the, the bus app and I had just missed the 83 South. Like it had left within three minutes of before I arrived on the uh, 29 West. And, and then um, it was gonna be like another 30 minutes until one showed up. And as I recall, I fell asleep sitting here and then woke up and it was a very scary place for me to wake up because it was super disoriented. And that's when I just decided, you know, I'm, I'm just going back to Crystal's place and trying to get some real sleep. I'm, I'm in no shape to be operating. I, I shouldn't be operating a pallet jack that's freaking tired. Um, and, uh, and I tried to, tried to put in for time off, you know, for, for, for PTO, you know, paid time off because I still had quite a bit of P P PTO stored up in my A to Z app. And that's when that, I'm so, all those memories coming back to me. It's kind of weird how when I look at a place, like I won't remember stuff, but when I'm in a place, like a physical place, it, it connects me to my memories. Like I remember the things that happen at places when I look at those places or I'm physically at those places. It's weird how my brain is wired like that. But anyway, um, ooh, and I like that bench. That's really neat. Except it looks like those plants will poke you in the back while you sit there. <laughs> and of course we've got these these little little bit of bit of hostel whatever to make it more comfortable to sleep on and not not functional to to uh, to, to get up on it with a skateboard. Not that people should be getting up on that with a skateboard, but you know, it's just kinda weird that uh, there's I don't know, just general hostel architecture. I just find that crazy. Um, anyway, um, but yeah, no, I remember now that I'm here that, that yeah, I, I dozed off and I woke up and then I was trying to get, trying to um, put in for PTO for that shift and that the uh, A to Z app wouldn't connect to the server for whatever reason. And I, I was able to handle that with like, when I went into work the next day, I was able to handle that with the people at the HR desk. So it, ultimately it wasn't a problem, but, uh, but anyway, that's, yeah, that's the only other time I've ever been to this transit center. But as you can see, there's just nobody here. There's a, you know, the one bus sitting there is a not in service bus that uh, will eventually start in and go, you know, back the direction which it came, heading east on, on, on Thomas Road. And I would imagine it, when it comes out of here, it's gonna do the whole loop around like I saw that 75 do, and then drive out and turn right on 79th, and then stop at the stop that's on, actually outside the transit center over there. 
Um, I would imagine that's what it does for a hits west. Now this one's interesting. I've never rode this route, but it's called the Mary. And this is uh, the Maryvale Local Circulator. Yeah, Phoenix Mary Circulator. Uh, service extension. Wow, nice to see they're adding more stuff. I um, wonder if they have this in English. <laughs> uh, route extending along 59th Avenue to run clockwise around Estrella Village via Fillmore Street and Roosevelt Street. So, yeah, there's. I wish there were some local circulator type buses around where I live, um, but there's not. But you know, I am, and I'm in Arcadia, and everybody in Arcadia is rich and drives, except me. Um, yeah, TC Desert Sky Transit Center right there in the middle, and I don't know if it just. Goes, I don't know what direction it goes in, but but it's just a circular route. But some service on Osborne and Campbell and. And in Cano, now in Cano is the west side equivalent to Oak. But yeah, God, I wish my neighborhood had some kind of local circulator. It'd really be nice if there was some some service along, even if it was, you know, only every you know, every half hour or shit, even once an hour. It'd be nice to have some service along, along Oak Street and along 40th Street and along Osborne and along uh, 52nd Street and 48th Street and 46th Street. 36th Street. You look at a, a Phoenix Transit map and you notice where I live is a big, there's a lot of big gaping holes where there are no, no routes. And, and I kind of live in the middle of one of them. Like it's not terrible, you know, I mean, I live, I have three routes within a half mile of me, but the ones to the north and the south, the 44 and the 29, both of them, I am east of the point where all buses go. In other words, like, only some buses go, uh, some Route 17 buses. Oh, and here we go, the I-10 West Rapid. <laughs> so we're, we're my, if, if I stay on the bus, you know, and didn't get off at 6.30, my 6.11 bus, if I didn't get off at 6.30, this is the next stop. The people who don't get off, this is, this is where they get dropped off. And as you see, the park and ride spots here are actually nice. They're covered, you know. So, yeah, much better in, in, amenities provided by the uh, city of Phoenix. For, for people who drive, even even people who drive to use the bus. You know, people who don't drive to use the bus, fuck you, S sweat next to the homeless people that are smoking fentanyl. But yeah, if you drive to use the bus, come on, come on over. Come on over, enjoy the covered parking. Enjoy the covered parking. And, uh, and, and if you're one of those people, hey, we even give you a, give you a screen to give you information as to when, you're, uh, when your bus is gonna show up. Oh, no, I stand corrected. It looks like everybody's got information here. Huh, and that says 75 North, 29 West. Doesn't give any information about the 83, though. Shit, at this point, I'm wondering if I should just be walking southbound or if I should be waiting for it. Let me break out the iPhone. Let me see if the iPhone even has any charge left on it. Was it 3% the last time I looked at it when I saw that message from Priscilla? Um... Hang on, trying to get into it. The touch sensor doesn't work and it's super tedious to get into the stupid phone these days. Uh, ooh, I'm at 2%. Uh, I highly doubt there's any place here I can charge my phone. Because if, if there was, there'd be more vagrant people than just the two out front here charging their phones. It's kind of sad that's the way the world works, but it is. Um, so... You know, I, one thing I, I don't like in the transit app, when you look at a transit center, you just see all these little dots and stops, but they're not labeled in the app in any way as to like, like they are here in the transit center as to what stop is for what. So if you don't know, if you're not actually standing here looking at how they're labeled like I am, um, you got to just keep clicking them until you find the one that your bus leaves from. Anyway, at least I'm sitting here and I know it's that one there for 83. So 83 South delayed should have been here at 736 it'll be here at 741 that's not too bad of a delay oh hell that's less than 10 minutes no nah, i'm almost i'm gonna sit here and wait for it it is currently at 83rd avenue and camelback not bad not bad at all it says it'll be down to uh here it says it'll be here at 741 so eight minutes and it'll be down to roosevelt at 748 which gives me 
you know, basically uh, 10 minutes to to walk down uh, the private Amazon cul-de-sac portion of Roosevelt and, and hopefully get clocked in a little bit before 8 o'clock. Um, you know, it's funny the way, so I, I, I've tried to explain how the different time off things work with uh, Amazon. And I did touch briefly on the, not the last video, but the video before that, about how I tried to put in for vacation. And I didn't realize, I thought vacation would just be approved as long as it was done in advance of your shift. But it wasn't until I clicked on it, because this is the first time I've tried to use it, um, until I clicked on it in advance. And now I do believe I've used it before, but I, I've done it like retroactively and the people at the HR desk have done it. I haven't done it through the, uh, wow, we got vending here. Nice. Um, <laughs> and it's not in a scary cage like the vending was uh, at that mall that I went to in, uh, in Tigard, uh, Oregon. Um, anyway, get this architecture and the openness of it. Of course, you know, more, it's, it's debatable. You know, what you need more of in the summertime here in Phoenix, shade or some openness, but it's all right. It's only, you know, I, I got to remind myself, it's only brutally hot for about three, four months out of the year here. And the rest of the time, we've got one of the best climates in the nation while everybody else is, is freezing their asses off. Like I'm walking around in, uh, in cargo shorts and a t-shirt. And, and loving that I live here, you know, this is my my sweating right now. That's my uh, that's my penance for living in a nice climate most of the year. I just gotta remind myself that. But it's I tell you, you know, everyone tell me it's a dry heat. <laughs> my my balls beg to differ. Um, anyway, where, where, where was I? So um, yes, yeah, so I don't have too long to wait. Um, so I didn't realize that I, I thought the vacation would be you just automatically approved. You were entitled to it. But it said, like it gave a pop-up saying something along, like after I put in for it, saying something about how um, that it needs to be approved by my manager and that you will get a notice, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. It was, it was complicated. I'm looking at that going, okay, yeah, by the time my manager looks at this, it's already going to be too late for this to be helpful. And as far as I can tell, that's that's what happened. Um, I was looking at my A to Z app uh, shortly after I got off the bus, and it still showed that I was expected to be in at seven. It still showed I had a sift from seven p.m. till uh, till uh, five thirty a.m., which it's you know seven thirty-six. I'm not thirty-six minutes late. Um, showed I was expected to be in there. And, and it also said shift swaps are not available for the shift. So obviously, you know, I'm too, too late to do the shift swap thing, which is fine. I mean, I wouldn't expect the shift, you know, I would magically put in for a shift swap that close to, to the, you know, to the start of a shift. I wouldn't expect that to work, but I, I did expect my uh, vacation time to be automatically approved and it wasn't. So that kind of sucks. Um, that's fine. So um, as I've mentioned, the, the other, like types of time off that Amazon has is uh, PTO and and uh, well, there's VTO, I, the voluntary time off. I, that was that was not an option. Uh, yeah, that was not an option. I I, I, I checked. That was the first thing I checked. It's always the first thing I checked. But yeah, it's it's been you know it's not so much that it's been busy there lately. We're just suddenly short-handed again after that last huge wave of new hires. The bulk majority of those people. Uh, quit that job <laughs> with within a month. They're like, oh, this sucks. This is work. <laughs> and, you know, it is what it is. I mean, it's it's mostly, you know, younger people that get hired. You know, people that are er in their early 20s are younger. You know, pe pe people typically between 18 and like 25. And, and that age group tends to have kind of a crappy work ethic. You know, they they don't want to be doing hard physical labor. They, they want to be you know, sitting around chatting with their friends and scrolling their their Instagram and looking at TikTok. You know, it seems like so. Yeah, Amazon is not a place where you can do that. Um, so yeah, and, and, and to be fair, there's a lot of things that, 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 that do suck for employees there. I mean, I, I sometimes paint a rosy picture, but I, I try to be pretty honest about what it's like working at Amazon. And I mean, there are times it's kind of frustrating. And there are times where it just feels like you're you're pushed around you're like cattle or like a slave. I mean, like last night, like I was obviously not in, in good sorts. And so many times where I'm just like, hey, can you, I need you to move over to fluid. 
dude, you know I fucking hate working over at Fluid and I'm fucking miserable right now. I've got drama at home. I've got... Like, you know, come on, you could, I, I could stick here loading, I could do other stuff. And you know, and some of the other managers would have been, and at least he finally keyed on by the, like the last time I think he was gonna run me to fluid, how close I was to just, just walking out, you know? And I don't wanna do that, I, I value my job at Amazon, I really do, but, but yeah, it was uh, uh, frustrating. I bet this is my bus, what we got here? Oh, nope, that is uh, 29 Pima Park. So, so you saw that that's the 29, the one said not in, said not in service. Well, that's, that's interesting that it's rolling out saying not in service. So that 29, um, this is, so this is the same sort of thing. The 29 has the same thing, sort of thing like I have on the east side, on the west side. Some buses go west of here, whereas some of them, this is all the farther west they go. Um, yeah, like that one that I got on, I think I got on into 44th Street, and that one probably didn't go to Scottsdale. That one probably started, in fact, I know it started because it was like a not-in-service bus when I got on it, and it was not, I had to wait a while for her to start going. At least the driver was cool. Like, she opened the door and let me into the air conditioning, and I appreciate that. But yeah, this one here, you say, yeah, the sign said it was going to Pima Park. So yeah, so this one is going from parts, points further west, which I'm really not sure how much further west. The same sort of thing, this one shows, Schedule for the 75 and the 29, but it doesn't show schedule for the 83. You know, and it was interesting, as I mentioned when I was started this video, it said transfer to 75, it didn't mention 83. It's almost like like the automation that, that links all that stuff up is oblivious to the fact that the 83 stops here. But there's another guy waiting, so that's a good that's a good sign. Um, anyway. So yeah, that one, I'm not sure how much farther west the Route 29 goes. Um, I don't really ever go any farther west than here. I'm, I, I live in Arcadia, for God's sake. I would rather spend my time in Tempe and Scottsdale than on uh, uh, parts of West Phoenix that I find completely unappealing. Um, but, uh, but yeah. Um, anyway, my bus should be here shortly. You know, I was going to talk more about what happened with Priscilla and the drama. Um, yeah, there's no point in even getting started on that. So that's why I'm just, because I just get started with the story, and uh, and then I'd be getting on my bus. Uh, so yeah, I should maybe offer a little more clarification on what I was talking about with the different types of Amazon time off. So so there's, there's PTO, which is paid time off, which I'm running really low on, and I'm trying to keep enough PTO to get a full shift off if I need it. And at this point, and that, that's a 10-hour shift, Here's another one west to 83rd Avenue and Thomas. Oh, that's interesting. It says 83rd Avenue and Thomas as opposed to uh, Desert Sky Transit Center. The one I was on specifically said Desert Sky Transit Center. So that one's going to actually go out of here and go another, a, a whole whopping another half mile further west. Yeah, I really don't know how the west end of the, the 29 works. Like, I've never, ever, ever been farther west than this on the 29, and I only came here once. So tired that I fell asleep on the way here, fell asleep waiting for my transfer, and then got back on the bus and fell asleep going back. Um, hey, but at least when I got back, I had a comfortable bed, I had Crystal's naked body waiting for me, I had dinner waiting for me, and, and came home to... Uh, well, not home, but came to a nice, clean apartment, which is something that Priscilla has never, ever at any time been able to uh, provide for me. Not before she was living with me, not after she was living with me. Um, I just need to accept the fact that that woman is, well, I'm, I'm, I'm done with her. I mean, I'm done with her. After, after the last 24 hours, it's obvious we have nothing left for each other. Um, there's, there's no good feelings at all left for each other. Um, but yeah. Um, which is fine. I mean, I'm just so, there's just, there's just so much resentment in me towards her at this point. Like, and I'm sure it's more than mutual. Um, I mean, I, I, I may never get over the issue with the cats. Uh, but anyway, um, so, uh, yeah, so there's, there's the PTO, which is done, which you can do by the minute. And then there's, uh, um, UPT, which is unpaid time. It's time that you're allowed to take off. You don't get paid for it, but you're allowed to take off for personal personal stuff. Uh, and if your UPT counter gets under zero, you have problems. Um, I'm nowhere close to that, but it's unpaid time. And something, a policy that changed, it used to be that was also calculated by the minute. So if you're 
15 minutes late, eh, you lost 15 minutes of UPT if, if you, uh, you know, didn't want to put in for, use your paid time off for that. Which is, you know, it's like, it's whatever, it's 15 minutes, not a lot of money, I can, I, 15 minutes missing from my check ain't gonna break me. But, uh, there's another 75 pulling in. Um, I get the feeling the 83 doesn't run very frequently. Um, anyway, so, um, yeah, um, um, I'm not sure how many months ago, I want to say maybe four months ago-ish, but definitely after, after I started, they changed that to where even if you use one minute, it docks you an hour of UPT. So if I can get there before eight, I'm good. I don't mind losing exactly one hour for an hour of time, but I hate using an hour for 10 minutes. Anyway, this is my bus. Thanks for coming with on the walk.